Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon for similar video notifications. Also, do comment on what else you would like me to add to this present video. Best regards, Electron. Hi guys, this what you see is an electric bike. Although guys, as you can see, I have removed the controller and the meter part. All that is left is the 120 watts DC motor. So guys as you can see that I have extracted the gear DC motor from the bicycle and it is still working pretty good. You can see the plate 24 volts, 5 amperes, 150 rpm and the gear ratio is 1 is to 24 with 43 kg centimeter torque. It's in Japanese. Let's test it with power supply. Yeah, it is working. So guys this is a 30 volts DC supply from a printer. I'm going to use this supply to run this motor and check it if it is running good enough. So let's start it. Positive has been given to positive. Now comes the negative. As you can see it is working pretty good still. And the torque is unstoppable because it is geared. 43 kg centimeter torque. Okay, so guys, this is the 24 volts, 20 amperes DC motor that I'm planning on using for the air bike. Okay, it has a 10 mm shaft and it also has a space for a bolt going through. This is the 12 volts UPS battery. I'm going to test run this motor at 12 volts. One wire has been connected. Yeah, you can see it is a very high current motor. Spark was very high, it almost burnt my skin. Guys, this is the box that I'm going to use for installing the batteries. Okay, so the box has been installed pretty good. Let's install the batteries. So guys, these are the four 7 inch UPS batteries, 12 volts that I'm going to use. At present, the plan is to connect all of them in series. But if there comes some problem, like uh, the motor takes too much current from the batteries and the batteries are not able to provide it, then I might just connect them in parallel, like two in series and two in parallel. So let's check the voltage. Pointing towards 20 volts DC mode. Yeah, 12.51, 12.51, 12.51 and 12.49, yeah, both, all of the batteries are almost uh, having similar voltage, yeah, okay, so let's install them on the bike. 
So guys, as you can see that uh, the batteries have been installed. Now all I have to do is connect them in series and then finally connect this to a switch and also place a cushion insulator over these batteries so that when I place it like this, then there is not a sh terminal short circuit because of this metal case. So first connecting these two batteries in series and then all of them. So guys as you can see that I have connected all the batteries in series and the final wires. This blue one is positive and this yellow one is negative and are coming out from the box through this hole. And all I have to do is place a cushion on this and then place it back and then the, uh, this will be ready to use. At present it is live with 48 to 56 volts DC. So guys here I am going to use this foam. So this is fully complete 48 volts battery pack. Let's test it with a multimeter to recheck uh, the overall voltage I am getting. So guys here as you can see uh, I have the multimeter pointing towards 200 volts DC mode because the voltage is going to be more than 20 volts. Then connecting the positive and you should see some voltage reflected. So it is 49.4 volts DC. 49.6 volts okay. So that is good enough to start for the battery. This means that the battery, each battery is more than 12 volts. Okay, so let's disconnect it. And finally connect all the setup to a switch. So guys, for placing the switch, I have found a brilliant way. This is a normal switch, okay, on off. And at the back of it, I have placed this clip. So what I'm going to do is I have stuck this base for the tape so that it does not move or dislocates itself and connect it like this. Open up the clip and then connect it like this. Yeah, and then it's it can also be adjusted according to well. And it's pretty steady. So guys, now I'm going to test run this motor with this 3.7 volts lithium ion battery just to show you how it is going to work. Okay, at present it is opposite. Yeah. It is working with just a 3.7 volts cell battery cell and it is a 24 volts motor that I'm going to run at 48 volts. So I hope that uh, the RPM of this system is going to be very high since it's still higher considering that I'm connecting just a 3.7 volts cell. So guys here as you can see uh, the clip and uh, the wire set positive and negative so I'm going to connect it like this red to red positive and black to negative okay guys here as you can see everything is connected the switch is connected to the wire and the wire has been connected to the battery with this motor also connected in series to the battery now guys uh, although the air throw is very nice but this wire is getting heated up a lot so i will have to change it before i make a practical presentation of the working of this bike so guys i will show you the air throw first
Thank you.